hello and welcome to my channel if this is your first time of stopping by you're so so welcome and please subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a new video and in today's video i'll be sharing with us how to sew this blazer jacket for kids i also have a video on how to draft this pattern which i'll place the link down in the description box below if you want to sew this machine trouser too i have a tutorial on that too so let's get started to go to the sewing part and if you are confused on the pattern my previous video is how you can make this pattern by yourself so to the cotton all you have to do is just for this back place your fabric into two or fold and cut out for the back do the same thing for the sleeves and for the front remember when cutting for the front remember to add about 0.5 inches here on the neckline area so this is for the sleeve I folded my fabric into two to cut out one sleeve and if, as you can see I'm making it of another color I want it to be a color blocking blazer so remember the three inches I told you will be coming up here to create that overlap at the box at the sleeve area so I'll just come up by that three inches here And I'll be coming out by two inches here. I'll add zero point five inches I'll add zero point five inches here. So I'll go ahead and use my shock to trace this out and then cut it out. The cut out you need to turn it to the front. So I have this overlap kind of down here at the sleeve area. So that is the essence of this three inches. Then place another fabric into two. I want to make a color blocking as I said earlier. So I'll be making use of these two. If you're making use of one pattern, just one color, just fold it into two. So get your front pattern. Let's trace out the lapel. So go ahead and press out, stop here, like this, and mid, mid of the ample, then press out the neck, remember to add the 0 0.25 inches, we added on the other one, we already have 0 0.5 inches on our one so just mark this down. Stop at about middle of your main pattern, not the overlap lapel main pattern. Get the middle and stop. So remove your pattern. What you're going to do now is from here. As if you're making a princess that so cut this out. So what we are going to do now is to cut out the illusion pocket. Get to the waist of your pattern. So four inches should be enough for the width. It's an illusion pocket. So I'll go for four inches and depth of two inches. So I'll cut it out on my two colored for the lapel. If you're making use of one color, just cut it out like that. So what I'll do, let me cut it out on this one. Fold it into two. Remember I said I want it to be two inches in depth. So this is the... I have three inches here so i can go ahead and cut out these three inches i'll use one inch to sew it down but let me just make it 2.5 inches 2.5 inches is enough so get the starting line where you want it now mark out four inches and add half an inch for turning it inside out add half an inch this side making them five inches so I'll be cutting this out first. I'll use this to cut out the navy blue color. Now, to cut out for the back color, you will not place your fabric on fold into two, rather, place it in a triangle form like this in a triangle fold. Then get your pattern. Remember, here is the center back. 
so just place it like this center bank will not won't add any allowance to the center bank so go ahead and add 0 0.5 inches round cut this out and cut out another one i want it to be two one will be the lining and one will be the main color so after cutting it out i have these two the only thing that is left for us now to cut out is the facing for the back because i'm not lining this up i'll just cut out facing for the back so to cut out the facing fold your fabric into two normal way not in a triangle fold get your back pattern remember we added half an inch here for joining the backs together but i want to omit that one this is facing so what i'll do is that i'll go ahead trace out what you have here I didn't add this 0 0.5 inches allowance here, so just cut it out. So these are the cut out patterns, as you can see. This is the back pattern, the front pattern, the sleeves, the illusion pocket, and the neck collar. This is what we'll be working with. So go ahead and iron. We've cut out the inner lapel, iron and interfacing to this inner lapel iron and interfacing to this collar the two of them iron and interfacing to the illusion pocket as well so that is the only place you'll be ironing interfacing and so down to the sewing tutorial get our, our pattern sorry, sorry, sorry. get the front this is the front right sides to the front get the back right sides to the back sew down the shoulders together show the shoulders together and then this is the facing for the back remember this is the wrong side and this is the right side of the facing for the back why this is the facing for the front of iron and interfacing to this this is gum stay so what you're going to do is you're going to place it right side facing right side and sew down the shoulders just like we did for the front so this is it after joining the shoulders together and this is the facing as well after joining it together the shoulders so what i'll be doing now is that this back here yeah. i'll go ahead and sew down this back and create my vent in case if you don't know how to do this i have a video a very short video on how to make this back vent i'll place the link down in the description box below so you can just go ahead and click on that video and watch how to create a vent without a lining so i'll do that on this back and i'll also do it on my sleeves because the sleeves will be having an vent too and the sleeve so i'll just do that and i'll show you what next to do so you do now is that get your color the double color this is the lining white one is going to be the the main fabric just just place it right like this right side facing right side have iron interfacing to it then from this edge you can use this shape to identify it here is cold why right here is sharp from this place here stew it down to this area using your 0 0.5 inches allowance just sew it down here leave here open so it doesn't make mistake you can just use your pattern place your pattern like this and use a pen and trace out what you have you do the same thing for the other side you trace it out then you use it to sew from here you sew it down so after sewing it I'll go ahead and notch this pointed area, notch here as well. You can trim excess if you have excess. So I'll turn this inside out like this.
have something like this so what i'll be doing now is that after creating the back vent this is the back vent so what i'll do is that i'll get my fabric like this get the center of this color pin it down to the center back like so go ahead and pin it around the neckline so do the same thing for this other side remember you stop at this place that you've turned inside out so just stop here do the same thing for this side so after pinning it down i have this i'll get my facing like this so this is my facing here and i'll place it right side of my facing and i'll go ahead and mash up all these things like the shoulder seams together first then i'll pin them down so after pinning it down after pinning the neck down to the facing this is the facing just look at it this here is the neck area and i've pinned it down so i went ahead and pin it down to this center front i pin it down from here so i'll sew it down from here to the neckline and i'll sew it down to this end here after which i will clip here and give notches around and I'll clip here as well after doing that clip this area just like i told you before So what I'll be doing now is that I'll be shaping out this. I'll shape out my sleeves as well. I'll be shaping the sleeve with quarter of an inch. That is, I'll be shaping the sleeve with half an inch, and I'll be shaping the the suit by itself. I'll be shaping the blazer by one inch. I added one point five inch on my pattern, so I want half half inch to be the ease. So I'll be shaping it out with one inch, and I'll be shaping this one out with half an inch on the both sleeves. Then I'll get this for the pocket so what i'll do is that i'll fold it in right side facing right side and i will sew it down here down here i'll do the same thing on this one i'll sew it down here down here i'll leave this opening and i'll turn it out so as you see after shipping it out i have this so what i'll be doing now is to attach the sleeve Get your sleeves, check out the vent where the, the vent is facing. This one is facing this side, so towards the front of your blazer, attach this one to this side that is facing backwards, and get the other sleeve and attach this hand <clears throat> that the vent. Is going towards this side. Go ahead and pin your armholes and attach the sleeves to the blazer and hem this blazer. Hem it as well. So, what you'll be doing next is to attach the pockets. Have this. After fixing the sleeve, you have something like this. After I'll go ahead and iron this so that it will lay nice and slim, neat. So this is it so far. We have something like this. So, let 
determine where in the pattern we placed the pocket at the half length so the half length i'm working with is 12 so this is the 12 inches i'll be placing the pocket at 13 inches so this is the 13 inches mark it out here as well so you can now determine which color goes to which color if you are color blocking like me so this is where i have the navy blue and this is where i have this beach so i'll be placing the pockets like this so what i'll do now is that i will place it first like this remember before you sew make sure you're getting this facing so what i have here is about two inches now i'll go up i'll stitch it down here so sew it down here after which you flip it up like this and top stitch on this place do the same thing for this other side sew it down and top stitch on it and hem the dress don't forget if you want to have a very neat inseam you have to overlock first before you start sewing but i didn't overlock mine so i'll go ahead attach the book the pockets fold this place and determine where the this ends and what i'll do is that i'll be adding i'll be adding button holes and i'll add about three or four button holes or even five it depends if i add the first button hole here i'll gap for two and a half i'll add another one i'll gap for two and a half i'll add another one i'll gap for two and a half until i get finished up here remember i have not folded my i'll fold it in so after adding the button holes i'll add my buttons and for this slit here at the sleeve what i'll just do is that i'll just go ahead and tack two buttons here i'll tack one here and i'll tack one here i'll do the same thing for this other side i'll tack one here and i'll tack one here and that is pretty much for this particular blazer and i'll give it a good press i will show you what it looks like so guys this is the final look of the blazer i also have a tutorial on how to draft and sew this trouser in case if you want to wash it i'll place the link on the description box below so i'll see you on my next video happy sewing